Would I buy you again, Freddie? Yes. Yes, I definitely would. Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video. So today's video is going to be another 10 things that I wouldn't buy again. So if you'd like to see the things that I would not be purchasing ever again, some things that I've stopped buying for the short term immediate future and some recommendations on things that I would purchase instead of these items that I wouldn't buy again or that I've just stopped buying short term. And it'll all make sense when we get to those items, then just keep on watching. So the first thing that I would not purchase again are these metal wire rack style tiered shelf organizers i bought mine from kmart and it's not anything against items from kmart you know i'm a kmart fan but just this particular style of organizer was just a total fail for me they're flimsy they're clanky they're noisy things slide off them they bow they don't hold their shape as you can see they're not really level uh, so this one is just a definite no-go for me. And there are heaps of other styles of tiered organizers that just do the job a hundred times better than these ones. Now, the reason that I wouldn't buy these is just because they're so unstable. So you can see that when you put something on there, the wires just wobble. And it's almost as if it's tilting forward. So I feel like it's slowly sliding off. And when you use lots of glass canisters like I do, this is just a no-go. It's such a hassle. You've got to be so, so careful when you take things on and off. And it's just, it looks like it's sagging. Like see how it just wobbles? You don't even touch it, but it starts wobbling. And you can see that this one, just with two little jars of things in, so salt and pepper. Pepper is practically empty. It's already starting to bow underneath. So definitely would not recommend this particular style. Instead, I would go with something like this. Now, as you can see, it doesn't even fit four cans side by side, four stock standard cans side by side without going over the edge. So the least they could have done is measure it up so that it fits like a standard size can, four of them across. And it's obviously designed so that it tries to maximize the amount of storage space that you have. But in all honesty, I just think it's so much more hassle than it's worth just with how nervous you are every time you use it that something's going to come flying off the edges or it's going to come sliding down forward like they're already starting to slip and slide forward so there's so many other things that you can buy that's the same principle with the shelf the tiered shelf risers that are just a little bit better with the non-slip grip there's some plastic ones that have a non-slip matte grip here um, but i definitely look for ones that have a full base and that aren't just this wire construction because it's just yeah no good along the same lines are these expandable risers and so the premise of this is that you have got this which you can make the riser adjustable to fit your pantry space which is a great idea in theory it's just that they're constantly shaking around you've got this little bit that things get stuck on so like this i would say this is a great idea because it effectively doubles your kitchen storage space again though i think that there are better ones better options on the market than these metal ones with the slats the ones from ikea are white metal really affordable really easy to assemble but they just have a flat surface which means things can't fall through they can't you know fall on a side if they've if you've got something like a glass or something and you don't put it exactly square it falls down in here and then tips over so i just think there's better options to these great idea in principle but just this particular design i don't know it just didn't suit me and it didn't work for me i have used the main piece like this in my saucepan cupboard and it works okay just to make some extra space but again i think there's just better options you can get bamboo ones from kmart really affordable or amazon they don't make that kind of clattering clanging noise when you're putting pots and pans onto it's not like metal on metal uh, and they just feel much sturdier like these always feel a little bit flimsy and if you've got heavy kind of pots and pans like cast iron pots or anything that's more uh, you know on the heavy side it's just not going to hold up with that weight whereas if you've got like something sturdier like a bamboo or a full metal uh, style it's just going to have a lot more options 
and it's going to give you a little bit more versatility with what you can use it for so again this particular style it's a it's a fail for me the next item that I have that I wouldn't purchase again is this item here. This is just a regular kind of acrylic plastic style organizer. This was from Howard Storage World and it is the Home Edit Collection. The reason that I wouldn't buy this again is purely for the price. It's a really nicely made organizer and it's a great idea to have that sliding thing. You could use it for cosmetics, you could use it in the kitchen, you could use it in the home office. Tons of ideas on how to use it. The price is the only thing that is off-putting. This was $42.95. I actually, I, I didn't buy it by accident. I meant to buy it, but I didn't realize that this was $42.95. I think I had two different ones in my hand. One had $21.95 on it, which I thought that this one was $21.95. It was when I was pulling the label off that I realized that it was $42.95. Nearly had a heart attack. Um, but yeah, next time I'm shopping in Howard Storage World, I'll be very wary and double check the prices on everything that goes into my shopping bag uh, because I think this is just well and truly overpriced for $42.95. I just don't know how you can justify it. At the end of the day, it is just a plastic container and as well made as it is and as well designed as it is, I just definitely don't think it's worth $42.95. So this is an item that I wouldn't buy again. And I'm, honestly, if that's the price of all the things in the Home Edit collection, I'd probably think twice before ever buying anything from their collection as well, because I think it's just well and truly overpriced. Next up on my list of things that I definitely would not buy again is this Bissell Spot Clean Turbo. This is the first Bissell item that I've owned and I know that there are people who are on literally there's Facebook groups that are just like only Bissell. So Bissell Crosswave, Bissell Spot Clean, all of the little spot cleaning machines. I mentioned this in I think it was like a spring cleaning or deep cleaning inspo video where I first used it and kind of did a first impressions. I used it in a couple of places, so I used it on the carpet, I used it on my white sofa, fabric sofa, and I also used it on uh, spot cleaning my rug. The spot cleaning of the sofa was a complete fail, it did not take out the stain, it hardly even lifted the stain. The carpet, it did quite well, but the carpet's really dark, so you can't really tell if it got the stain out or not. And my rug, it did a pretty decent job. It got the stain out kind of like 99%, but I think my rug is pre-treated and it's like a pet friendly type rug. And people say, oh, you can tell that it gets so much dirt out because you can look at the, the dirty water that's left in the reservoir when you're using it. But I mean, it's a wet dry vacuum cleaner. So in effect, it's a vacuum cleaner. And if you think about it, if you used your normal vacuum cleaner to vacuum over like a stained area on your rug or to vacuum over the carpet or to vacuum up, you know, a spill of coffee or any kind of dirty spill. And then if you add to that barrel of dust, because it's effectively a vacuum cleaner, if you added water to your vacuum cleaner, what it can suck up, it's going to have that same effect with all that really gross, dirty water, and it's going to look like it's cleaning up a whole ton out, when in effect, it's probably just water mixed with the dust and dirt that it's picked up being a regular vacuum cleaner. So this one was a fail for me. I used it with the Bissell solution that it came with, and I also used a separate Bissell solution that was specifically for stubborn pet stains, uh, and I still wasn't impressed with it. I'm keeping it just for the use of like a wet dry vacuum cleaner but to be honest it's a very expensive wet dry vacuum cleaner because I think this was $499 and you can pick up a wet dry vacuum cleaner for you know a really decent one for $99 at at Bunnings or at the local hardware store so this is a definite fail for me definitely would not recommend um, and really 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 disappointing because I had such high hopes for this particular machine so a definite I would not purchase it again and I definitely would not recommend it Next item that I have that I wouldn't buy again are these white bins from Kmart. Now they look good, they're a really decent price, I think they were $42 each, so not super super cheap, but in the grand scheme of bins, definitely not expensive. The reason that I wouldn't buy them again is one, they're a pain in the butt to put the liners back in. You've got to kind of do this hack that I've pretty well refined, but it's really a pain to put the liners back in so that you can't see it poking out the edges. It's definitely not simple. Like I think my son did this one and you can still see it poking out. But the reason that I really, really wouldn't buy them is because this stainless steel, and I think it's really pretty cheap quality stainless steel to be honest because it's you know came out and it's only $42 so fair enough but the stainless steel is incredibly hard to keep clean uh, you can always see marks on it and in fact I've cleaned it so much that I think I've started to clean like the topping of the stainless steel off so there's marks here where it's like the 
the surface, the top layer of the stainless steel, it's like it's been wiped off. So, and I mean, yeah, I do clean my house pretty thoroughly and pretty regularly, but I wouldn't expect that in, I don't know, I've only had these for maybe two or three months. So definitely not, in my opinion, long enough to be wearing out. Um, I don't know what the warranty is. I don't know if I would be bothered to take them back to Kmart, but yeah, I'd definitely be mindful of, um, of that. Uh, and just other things like on one of them, the lid kind of comes out over the edge. So you can't really lift the inner basket out. And it's got a thing that you can hold it up with. So definitely wouldn't be recommending these bins. So on the inside of this also, now that's not a dirty bin lid because I do clean the bin lid. It's where it's actually started to rust away. So yeah, not a fan of these at all. And I've had quite a few people ask me in the comments where I got my bins from because I agree they, they do look really nice and streamlined, nice, neat, very minimal. Uh, but just with that kind of wear and tear factor, I just definitely would not recommend buying those and it's something that I definitely wouldn't be buying again. And here we have the next item that I would not buy again. If you watch my garage declutter video, you might have seen that I was using this in the background of one of the clips. It is just an inflatable boxing punching bag uh, and you can punch it and it comes back and it's just good for like practicing boxing training. I can't seem to find if that it's got any holes in it anywhere, but it just sort of seems to deflate slowly and just constantly kind of deflate and go down. So I definitely would not recommend buying this one. And I mean, it's not a kid's toy. It was from the like Kmart fitness section but that being said I think it was only 20 bucks so you get what you pay for but on the other hand probably something that I, that I would say is worth it is this model of it so again it's the same kind of concept uh, it's just water weight at the bottom it's really easy to self-assemble my 14 year old put this one together he assembled it completely uh, but it's just that little bit stronger and sturdier and just that little bit better quality so definitely would recommend this one which is from Kmart as well uh, for $49 over the $20 budget entry model Next thing I would definitely think twice about buying or I would buy it with the warning that these plant pots, hanging plant pots from Ikea, they are definitely not outdoor safe. As you can see, I had mine outdoors and first thing it did when it rained, it rained for a couple of days and they just went all completely moldy. So I have bleach treated them and started scrubbing them off. Uh, but this is definitely what they look like if they are left out in the elements. So if you did purchase these, just be aware that this is what happens if you do expose them to the elements and have them outdoors. We had ours, we had ours outdoors kind of in a semi undercover spot. So they weren't really in, even in full outdoor element exposure, but this is definitely what happens. So just be wary if you do purchase those because I really do like them. They really look nice, but that's just how they end up looking if you keep them outside. Okay, the next couple of things that I have for you that I wouldn't buy again. Yes, Freddy, you can be in the video, but I definitely wouldn't not buy you again. I would buy you five times over. All right, so I didn't exactly have 10 things that I wouldn't buy again. So I'm gonna include some things that I wouldn't not not buy again, but I wouldn't be buying them again just right now. And I'll explain so it makes sense. Yes, Freddy, I love you. So some things that I wouldn't buy for right now, are these these so in general higher end skincare and beauty items i'm on a very strict reducing the spending paying off the debt and really knuckling down to save for a house deposit at the moment sadly these are not necessities so this is one area that i'm going to be cutting back in but but i think that you can purchase things which are you know almost just as good uh so i have got some things to show you and instead, I would replace them with some more affordable drugstore chemist options. I got this from Chemist Warehouse. I got these from Priceline. So they're both drugstore chemist brands. CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion and The Ordinary. I use lots of things from The Ordinary, but this one, Niacinamide and Zinc, I just tried recently and I really, really love it. And then this one I've been using for a couple of years now. It's the Grenactive Retinoid in Squalene, Squalene, 5%. So there's two different percentages you can get in the retinoid. I use the higher one. If you're just starting out, definitely go in the lower one. But I think this is a, definitely an easy way to replace the higher end skincare with things that are working just as well. I've used these for probably two, two and a half years. 
this one for maybe a month and a half or so, a month, maybe a month, and then this one for uh, the last couple of weeks. And honestly, I'm really happy with this. It's not to say that I don't love these higher end products and that I wouldn't ever repurchase them again. It's just for right now when my financial priorities are elsewhere and they're really focused on 100% debt elimination and saving for that home deposit, like hardcore saving for that home deposit. These are areas where I can definitely cut back. So I'm switching these out for more affordable options. Same goes with skincare. I have used the big version of these and gone through quite a few of these containers. You might have seen them in YouTube stories, but definitely I've shared it on Instagram. Uh, I do love it. It's a beautiful product. It smells amazing, but it is ridiculously expensive. I think for the full size one, it's around $70, which is all kinds of crazy. So I found this one. This is a Palmer's coconut oil formula, coconut oil body lotion. Smells divine, works great. And the best thing about it is it's in a pump pack. So I definitely prefer pump pack convenience to even in the big size, you have to unscrew it and open it and then scoop it out to use it, which is messy and inconvenient. So one thing I didn't like about this one anyway, Problem solved with this. I think this was $6.99, I'm gonna say. And the great thing is I got them all through Click and Collect on Chemist Warehouse. So you just go online, order it through Click and Collect. Honestly, the best thing about quarantine and COVID-19 has been Click and Collect because everyone has switched to Click and Collect. Kmart, Ikea, Chemist Warehouse. I do all my grocery shopping online, Click and Collect. It's so convenient and so easy. So that is definitely something that I definitely will be continuing doing. Is that it? Yeah, anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed Okay, stop press. I was doing my makeup and getting ready this morning. I found some more things that I wouldn't buy again. So I'm just gonna pop these in this video now. These uh, were bought online, so it's always a bit risky buying new makeup online. This is the Colorstay Glaze, Colorstay Glaze Stick by Revlon. And the reason that I wouldn't buy it again, look, it looks like it's a really nice, colored eyeshadow, really easy to use stick. Um, and it looks like a really nice color online, but when you get it home and you try it out, it comes up. All right, let me put on a fair bit so you can see it. it. Looks nice from a distance, but when you look at it close up, it's full of blue, it's full of blue glitter. I'll insert a clip out here that I'll take outside. Okay, so can you see? It's got like this blue oil slick glitter sheen. So that was a fail for me because I like neutrals. I don't want to be surprised with blue glitter in my eyeshadow. The other thing that I wouldn't purchase again is this um, L'Oreal Micro Tatouage Brow Artist Pen. So it is basically one of those brow pens like with the three things like a felt tip liner with three little things in it and again great idea in theory but when it comes time to actually putting it on your eyebrows it just doesn't work it doesn't give like hair like strokes nothing like that um it's like using a felt pen to do your brows with so definitely wouldn't recommend this uh, and instead I would use the skinny brow the regular skinny brow pencil that I've showed on my channel before I'll leave the details in the description of the item that I would use another item that I wouldn't buy again and this was a real shock because I bought this uh, thinking that it was a really good brand and that the item would last and it's these lululemon leggings that I purchased with you know under the impression that it's a good brand and they were a decent amount of money but within a couple of months of purchasing them, the fabric just started to completely peel. So you can see all over them, it's just all completely peeled. And I purchased them because they were a more expensive item and I thought that by paying that little bit extra, they would last and be better quality, but that was definitely not the case with these. So this particular style of Lululemon leggings, I would definitely not recommend. I've purchased other things from Lululemon, they're crop tops, sports bras, and a shirt that have been excellent quality. So I guess it's just maybe a bit of trial and error, but like even you can see in the waistband, it's all peeled. So I would have expected a lot more from these considering I think they were around $90. So definitely not cheap. A lot of money to spend on leggings and I'd definitely be thinking twice before spending this kind of money on leggings again. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me and finding out the things that I wouldn't purchase again or that I wouldn't purchase again right now and where I've been able to find them, the substitutes for things that I would purchase again. If you did enjoy this video, as always, give it a thumbs up. 
If you're not subscribed, be sure to before you go, hang out and watch another few videos. I'll leave some linked in the description bar that I think you'll enjoy. Have a fabulous weekend, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. I lose my breath whenever I see you. Will I buy you again, Freddie? Yes. Yes, I definitely would. Yes, and you are very good, expensive. It costs money a lot of money. In fact, you're the, probably the one of the most expensive things in this house, mister. Mister? But I do love you, so you're very worth it. You're very worth it, Freddy. Are you worth every penny? Well, well. Are you worth every penny? Oh, I guess so. You did cost a pretty penny. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Say hi. You're all fluffy because you had a bath last night and a hair dry and a long brush. And so now you're all fluffy. But yes, I would buy you. So can you go down so I can finish telling the people what I wouldn't buy?